Yo. What's up? Today, guys, we've got a super, super sweet, but also sour treat for you. And if you saw the thumbnail, you probably already know what it is, but I'm really excited. And also the intro, so yeah, let's go. So Sour Patch Kids are my favorite candy, and I want to know, are they your guys' favorite candy too? Let me know down in the comments below, but they are in fact my favorite candy. So to go with that, I figured, you know what, I might as well get all the pops for it because I love the candy so much. So we have almost all the pops. There are three that I'm missing. I'm missing the green one from Emerald City Comic Con, the blue diamond one. I'm not exactly sure where that was special edition to, but I'm missing that one and the brand new red glow-in-the-dark one. Um, those three are the only three Sour Patch Kids I'm missing. Other than that, I have seven, and I'm super, super excited for them. So first off, we have number one, the classic Red Berry Sour Patch Kid. I'm a big fan of the red Sour Patch Kids, but in my list of, like, what are they? The, the five original flavors? Four? Five flavors, because the green one's one of the original flavors. Of the five, I would have to place the red one at number one. Just because he's so, the red guys are so good. They're so yummy. Look at him in there. He looks really cute. He's just, I love him. And also, I want to know if you guys can spot the difference between every single one of these. Or if you know the difference, leave a comment below. And if not, I'll flash it on the screen now. But you probably missed it. So you're either going to have to go back or just watch and wait. I want to see if you can figure these guys out. Now, I know I started with number one, but we are going to skip around. I don't want to do things in chronological order anymore. I kind of want to just do, you know, like a random order and kind of save my favorite ones for last of the week. So I think that's kind of how I'm going to do this from now on. But going with that, we have number 11, the Strawberry Sour Patch Kid. I can confidently say that I have never, ever had a Strawberry Sour Patch Kid, but I really kind of wish that I would. Um, they it seems really good sour patch kids i mean you can't go wrong the watermelon ones i know that those are really good so i could only imagine that the strawberry sour patch kids would be just as good if not better than the watermelon ones because like it's strawberry versus watermelon which one tastes better to you next up we have the lemon sour patch kid number two the yellow guy i love him like i mean there's only so much you can really kind of say about the same exact pops just different colors you know what i mean but in terms of overall likeness i i love this pop the only thing i don't like and it's again specific to mine is this hard crease i don't know how well you guys can see that crease right there but there is a relatively hard crease and i'm just not not the biggest fan but whatever i got the entire set for like pretty cheap as a bundle of these seven so i can't be that upset expected that there's a little bit of damage and on terms of rating the lemon sour patch kids i'm their bottom of the list their bottom tier they're number five for the original five they're number five and since i don't have them in hand i might as well go ahead and tell you that i think that the lime ones or the green ones are number four on the list they're not they're slightly better than the yellow ones but not by a whole lot and I lied before, guys. The red berry one is not number one. He's number two because I, for some reason, forgot about blue raspberry Sour Patch Kids, which obviously take all. Blue raspberry, blue raspberry anything is just superior, in my opinion. It just, blue raspberry is just such a good flavor. And there's the back of the box if you guys want to see. There's not a whole lot. It just has the original four, one through four. And then the fifth one is that Comic-Con convention exclusive. So it's not on the back of the box. But in general, blue raspberry best flavor just about anything all right guys we have number three ironically also number three on the list but number three on the pop product line as well i said that really weird we've got number three the orange sour patch kid um he's ranked number three on the list of which sour patch kids are best he's he's mid he's the exact middle he's not good but he's not bad you know He's the one that after you've eaten all the reds and all of the blues, this this is then the one that you go for. And then the green and then the yellow. If you guys have a specific Sour Patch Kids order of what how you eat them, let me know in the comments below. I want to know what your order is. But back to the pop, we have number three. I love this guy. He's, he's waving at you. He thinks he's the cutest thing. I think he's the cutest thing. You think he's the cutest thing. Like, these guys are just... 
These guys are just amazing, absolutely amazing, and I love every single thing about this pop. Now this one, guys, this one's going to be a little difficult to, uh, to kind of see because of my lighting, but I promise this is the Diamond Glitter Red Berry Sour Patch Kid. He is again number one, number two on the list of my placement for Sour Patch Kid flavors. Um, Again, I think he's really neat. I love this one, and I will do an in and out of box comparison between this guy and the regular red one. If you stick around to the end of the video, that will be there in like two to three minutes. So you don't want to miss it. You know, kind of looking at this piece a little more, I really wish they would have put like the the sugar on him. And again, it's like I get it. It's because of all the diamond and the glitter and everything is on it, so it kind of takes away from that sugar aspect. But I still think that it would look really nice, really neat, and even better if they were able to add some of those sugar details like they have on the bodies of all of the other ones. But still, beautiful piece, and I absolutely love all of them. And last but not least from my Sour Patch Kids collection, guys, we have number 10, the grape one. Purple is my favorite color. So I wonder why the purple Sour Patch Kid would be saved for last if I didn't saving the best for last it's because he's the best the purple sour patch kid i absolutely adore i've never had a grape sour patch kid but again like i feel like grape candies and grape sodas are just they're all pretty pretty good and i take that back you get one of two things you get either one they're really good or two it all tastes like cough syrup overall a really 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 nice piece i think that the purple just the purple on a Sour Patch Kid just looks nice. The box art is extremely nice. The just the pop itself is nice. The back, I just, there's nothing bad about these pops. I love every single one of them, especially the purple guy. So in case there was any confusion earlier, my list of Sour Patch Kids is number one, the blue raspberry one. Number two, if I had them, would probably be the strawberry one. Number three, same rule applies if I had them probably be the grape one. Number four would be the red berry. Number five would be the orange. Number six would be green, but I don't have the green one. It's pretty expensive. And number seven, the yellow guy, the lemon one. So let me know down in the comments section below, guys. Is my list pretty similar to the way that you would stack yours? Let me know. Okay, guys, so for the side-by-side -side comparison, there's already a couple things that I can note off the back. One is the way that the Sour Patch Kids look, you know, in this one, the mouth is very prominent, like on the, on the box art, on this one it's not. Um, you can definitely tell, and you know, looking at the side of the boxes may make things a little easier. definitely tell that they look a little different based on, you know, just their box art. Another thing that I almost immediately notice is the direction of the hands. Um, you know, one of them's got their right hand up waving and the other one's got their left hand up waving. This one looks a lot darker than this one, just in terms of box art color and even, you know, well, I guess it kind of switches for in color, like in person colors with this one being the darker one in person, but lighter on the box and this one being lighter in person, darker on the box. And here is the two in person. They both look extremely nice. I love both of them. This is the two red berry ones. This is the diamond one and this is the regular one. You can pretty clearly tell the difference between the two when they're in person. You know, this one's a lot darker. This one has glitter. This one has less glitter and is clear. Um, they're like the same exact build, which is neat. I love that they're both waving at you with their left hand. I just I wonder why they did that with the box then, because if one of them's waving with the left hand and one of them's waving with the right hand, but they're both waving with the same hand in person, why did they decide to flip it on the box? I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. Well, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys got a sugar rush just from what Semis. So now that we're at the end of the video, I want to know, were you able to spot the difference between most of the Sour Patch Kids? I want to know down in the comments below. I'll give you a hint. It's already been mentioned. That is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you get notified every single time that I post a video. I've been Michael, and until next time...
stay cool.